Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11, as many of you will know, although Microsoft has given the OS a more modern look and feel, we still get a bunch of legacy components that um, still look exactly like they did give or take when Windows 95 was still available back in the day. And as an example, the device manager would be such a component. Nothing really has changed when it comes to the user interface of the device manager compared to Windows 95, and which is still available now in Windows 11 compared to more modern components like the start menu, the notification center, and so on. Now, in regards to legacy components um, of Windows 11 that are still available, late last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest Canary Channel build in the Insider program build 25921. And as I have been mentioning over the last couple of days, Microsoft are making a couple of under-the-hood changes available uh, in the latest Canary Channel build that could affect the way the operating system behaves and the look and feel of the operating system in future upgrades to the Windows operating system. Now, this latest so-called under-the-hood change has been once again spotted by the Windows enthusiast Zeno over on X, who has spotted some changes regarding the shell of the computer, who has mentioned over on X that Explorer.exe has been cleaned a little bit. Now, Explorer.exe, as mentioned, uh, is the shell. So your shell is your start menu, your taskbar, your notification center, and your file explorer, just to mention a couple of examples. And Zeno has said that removing what they believe is part of the old taskbar. Now, this is important uh, because, as many of you will know, and as I have mentioned, um, the code for the legacy taskbar is still in Windows 11. So the legacy taskbar, as an example, um, the are bits of that, that can still be enabled in Windows 11 like they look in Windows 10. Now, this is the important bit because, because some bits of the legacy code for the taskbar have been removed. And if we just head over to a screenshot provided by Xeno, um, here we can see um, that explorer.exe, here at the top, if we just zoom in here so you can see it, explorer.exe.mur, which stands for Material User Interface. Um, when it comes to strings that are prevalent of build 25921, um, there are several parts of the Windows 10 taskbar that have been removed. So if we just go down here and we scroll down a little bit regarding this, um, this screenshot, here we can see system promoted notification area, volume, network, power, microphone, action center so you get the idea so there are a couple of strings and there is a bit of the windows 10 taskbar that's been removed that's why Zeno says over on twitter um explorer.exe has been cleaned a little bit now this is quite a big deal if you are using third-party apps like explorer patcher and start all back because those apps those third-party apps use those old legacy components of, as an example, Windows 10 to be enabled in Windows 11 using those third-party apps to modify the shell of Windows 11. And as I've mentioned, um, the code for legacy taskbar, um, the legacy taskbar like Windows 10's taskbar is still prevalent in Windows 11. But now that Microsoft in the latest Canary Channel build has been removing bits of that code, um, from the Windows 11 taskbar, it may affect how those third-party apps like Start All Back and uh, um, Explorer Patcher may work in the future. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch, um, especially if you are modifying the shell of Windows 11 to take on a more modest, uh, a more legacy look and feel, and are maybe bringing components of the Windows 10 Start menu and taskbar into Windows 11. Now, that's all we know at this stage, but obviously time will tell, as all, th all things do with um, Microsoft. So I just thought I'd throw it out there, and that was an interesting post by Zeno over on X. And obviously, um, like all things like we do talk about on this channel, if this does start becoming a reality, where it does um, Windows 11 and the removal of those uh, bits of the taskbar 
uh, of Windows 10 that were uh, previously available in Windows 11, if that does start becoming a reality, as um, the screenshot does show us, then obviously I will post and let you guys know because obviously that's going to affect the way those third-party apps work um, at the end of the day in Windows 11 to modify the shell of the existing OS. But I'll keep you posted and just wanted to throw it out there to keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.